in labor while on a journey to pay taxes. And you don't know where you're going to get stuck at in what condition. It almost didn't happen. But on this particular time of year of the tax paying, labor was time telling. Wow, the baby was born. The news had already got out because signs of wonder had already begun to appear. It almost didn't happen, but it's only just begun. There was three wise men, and when we say wise, they was men who seek God for revelation, and, and they heard from heaven, and heaven told them where and how to find the sign of wonder. While traveling there, they heard from God after getting there, and told them, don't go back home the same way. Same way we come to the house of God, we shouldn't go home. The same way. So they went another way, but that didn't stop King Hell. He wanted to see the king to be for himself. The Bible tells us that Jesus stuck around for 12 years with his family. But 18 years unmentionable out of sight. Sometimes we wonder where was he, but it's good for you to still wait to find time with God. While still in a way, now Jesus, at the age of 30, is on the scene. Bible says that He was found walking down journey upon his own relative. And his relative recognized him. Not realizing what Jesus wanted of him. I don't care how much God tell the preacher. He don't tell him everything. You ought to be grateful tonight. Amen. But here comes Jesus to John Church. And John is out there baptizing his people. And Jesus walked up and, and John said, oh no. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy to do this to you. You know, enough times in our life when we see a man or woman of God who's a pastor leader walk in, we want to turn the church over to them. But, but Jesus said, no, do your work. Uh -huh. I come to receive from you. Uh -huh. Do you hear me tonight? That, 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 that you don't have to look at me because you think I'm greater than you. Uh, I come to receive from you. Oh yes, it's only just begun. Wow. Say that Jesus was baptized by John. But the Bible says that, that, that even after being baptized, uh, in the mind, God knew that that was going to be a problem because somebody's going to see you the same as before. Some ain't going to receive you no matter what. So God had to clarify the doing. The Bible says that, that, that heaven opened up as Jesus came out of the water. Come on, man. The cloud began to roll out of the way to make sure we ain't having no magic. Mm -hmm. There wasn't no electricity to make no speakers. Right. But God spoke to the church. All right, now. Bible says this is my beloved one. 
my little son. Who I am. Well, please. Can I say that to you tonight? This is my beloved son. Who I am. Well, please wait. It's only just begun. My point tonight is that if the church didn't receive Jesus until God spoke, how do you think the world going to receive you when they see you doing the same thing? Look in the same way. Make a change. It almost didn't happen. But because God is in the plan, when God is in the plan, things work out. I want to let you know tonight that everybody may not be with you tomorrow. As you begin to walk away from the grave, some may go to the north, south, east, or west. But you better keep your hand in God's unchanging hand. Huh? When you go down into the water, I put your mind on Jesus. Not what he can do for you. Not what you can get from him. Put your mind on him as if you need him. Because truly you're going to need him. When you leave from this ground. Before you get out the door, uh, the devil gonna try to test you. Uh, before the night is over, uh, the devil may wanna take over, uh, but you got to know the night uh, that God uh, is a just God. Uh, he is uh, a God uh, that you cannot fool. Uh, you got to know the night uh, if God uh, be with you. Uh, Yeah. Uh -huh. 